All right, so um, we've made our three pages, um, but they don't look that great because everything's sort of squashed up top left-hand corner. Um, what we want to do is start spacing things out so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, now, the first thing you need to understand about HTML is that um, if you were to just try and press spacebar 100 times, um, it wouldn't work because uh, spaces and that kind of thing, they don't really register on HTML. So you need to spread it out using CSS rules or um, using tables. Um, so I'm going to show you both ways how to do it um, and it'll be a bit of a combination of both of them. So uh, first thing we're going to do, um, press enter so you get a little bit of a gap down here and then just say insert and then choose table. Um, and what we're going to do is, um, the general rule that I usually go with is how many buttons you have is how many um, columns you want. So I'm going to go three of those and I'm going to go three rows. Um, and we're going to go table width, doesn't really matter for the moment because we're going to play around with that anyway. Um, and border thickness, leave it at one for now, but we can change it later. Press OK. Um, and so we'll get this table coming up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move all our information into our table. So um, double click on home and then just... You can either press Control X to cut it and then click where you want to go and press Control V. Or you can double click and just drag and drop. That works as well. So I'm just going to do that for those two. Um, and our home page here, we're going to stick that into this first row here. And then what we're going to do is click in one of these top cells or boxes and highlight and drag across until you've highlighted all three of these up the top here and you can see it highlighted down here in our code view um, and then this little button down here uh, it says merge selected cells using spans and so we merge them um, and now we have like this heading row here um, and what we're going to do is with our alignment here we're going to choose horizontal and we're going to choose center so our heading goes in the middle I'm going to do the same for our images here I mean for our links so highlight those and then choose horizontal and center and you'll see that all of our links are now in the middle as well. Now our table itself is still um, aligned all the way to the left so what we're going to do is align the entire table to the center so if you go down here to align under properties again once we've clicked on our table so if you can't see that it's probably because you might be clicked over here so you've got to very carefully click on the very edge of the table um, and you're down here in our page properties you'll see alignment default and hit center um, and you can see here table width border and align center so if we were to change this align center to left manually like that you'll see it move over so you can do it either way and I've spelt it like an Australian got to spell it like an American otherwise it doesn't work um, there you go um, and so this is spread out nicely we can delete these spaces above here so you might notice it's moved down if you just press backspace or delete a few times um, it'll align it at the top again for us. Alright, so that's one way you can space things out. Um, only problem with this is um, it's not dynamic. So if I'll explain what that means. So you go File, Save As. Um, and if we were to open up home.html, which is the one we're working on at the moment, um, right here. Um, and maybe we want to resize this page. Um, if I was to drag it like so, it starts cutting itself off um, once we get to a certain width so it, it moves automatically into the middle which is not bad um, but just say we're using this on a mobile device um, our page would suddenly be very not very functional once we get to this point um, so one thing we can do is um, make the width of this um, constantly fit a percentage so every time it moves everything will readjust its size accordingly so if we go back to Dreamweaver um, and when we click on the edge of this table um, you'll notice it says width 600. Um, if we go down here from to width 600 and instead of it being 600 pixels if we change it to percent and then change this to 100 um, now we have a constantly adjusting size table and if we save that so what we've done is instead of telling it to always be 600 pixels we've made it 100% of our page width um, and now if we check that out under home you'll notice it constantly fits the size of our window so if I full screen it it increases its size if I shrink it down it all kind of shrinks to fit accordingly so a little bit more user friendly particularly with a mobile phone screen which would probably look something like this um, it all fits a little bit nicer 
Now, if you're like me and you're not a big fan of these little boxes, uh, what you can do is you can turn off the border. Uh, so if we turn off the border, make it zero, and we can even turn off things like cell padding and spacing. So everything is, uh, there's no little gaps in between each of the cells. Um, you get these dotted lines, and these dotted lines are invisible. Um, you can see them obviously in design view, but if we were to file save and then test it again by opening up our home page, um, you can see everything's spaced out, um, but you can't see what is causing the spacing. So this is one way you can do it if you don't like the lines that are generated by tables. All right, the next way uh, I'm going to show how to spread things out is using CSS rules. So let's go to our about page. Um, and what we're going to do is insert a division. Um, and that is going to allow us to make some rules that will apply to just a specific section. Um, so what we're going to do is say insert div um, and say add insertion point. Um, and you see it says content for new div goes here. And we're going to highlight all of our links and press Control X and Control V to paste them in there. Now um, you can see that the div is working here. You can see where it starts in our code. So div, I'm going to press enter just so you can see it clearly a few times. And you can see where it ends over here as well. Now what we're going to do is add some CSS rules that will apply to this. So if we go to page properties um, and we go to links CSS, um, you can see that we can change a couple of things. So maybe we'll increase our font size. Um, so we'll just go keep it the same as page font. We'll keep it normal and then we go to size and we'll go to like 18. Um, don't worry about these for the moment. Uh, just press apply. Okay. Um, and you can see where it's popped up here with A. And A here refers to anything that is a link. Now you can see the CSS rules over here in CSS Designer. Uh, if you go to all, uh, and then uh, where are we? We got A. Uh, which is this rule that has just been made for all the links. Um, this pops up. Now, if your window isn't this big, you might need to close a dock or two. And you can do that quite easily just by like right-clicking on one of them saying close group. Um, but I think I closed this one down here previously, so I've got a bit more room here. Um, and if you click on this show set, um, it shows you all the things that you've done so far in sort of a more user-friendly interface than the code view. So you can see the font style and the font size over here. But we'll uncheck that. So if we click across to this layout option here, you'll see padding. And what we're going to do is apply a little bit of spacing to our text. So we're going to make it um, 25 on the left and 25 on the right. Um, and you'll notice your text is now a little bit more spread out. Um, what we're also going to do is align everything to the center. So um, what we're going to do is go to um, this div. And if we click on everything inside here, I'll just click once actually and then go to CSS. We can just merge it to the center. And that's merging everything on the page to the middle. Um, and we can even put this about page in there if we want on a different line, like so. Uh, now if we press Control S to save it and if we preview it, go to about, you can see it's been spread out the same way as before and it moves accordingly. Uh, just like our table, but we've just done it a slightly different way. So instead of using tables, we use CSS rules to achieve this. Um, and our links will work just the same way, except this one takes us to our home page, which has our table spacing, and this one has our CSS spacing. Save what you're up to and move on.